Hey guys, Digital Dean here with another Marvelous Designer 5 tutorial. Today I'm going over simulation properties, uh, a little bit about what they do and how they can help you out. So if we uh, go over to our scene uh, menu and come over and select simulation property, it'll bring up the simulation property editor. The uh, preset for this is set to custom right now, but there's uh, normal and complete options, which I'll go over uh, later on. So to start off, the first one is time step. Now, I couldn't find a definitive answer online for this, but uh, generally people think that time step is the uh, parameter controlling the sub-steps of the simulation. And right now it's set to 0 0.03, which is 1 30th of a second in 30 frames per second. Um, I really don't touch this because, number one, I don't really know what it does, and uh, I don't really see that much of a difference when I do change it. Uh, so number of simulations, uh, default is one. It's uh, just if you increase it, it will run more simulations at the cost of uh, performance for your machine, um, but it'll give you a little bit more of an accurate uh, simulation with your cloth. So CG finish uh, condition also uh, goes along with CG iteration count and CG residual. Um, CG means uh, conjugate gradient method and uh, there's two options, iteration and residual. And what uh, iteration does is that um, it, it will stop simulating as soon as uh, whatever the iteration count uh, is met. So if it's at 50 iterations, it will iterate 50 times and then stop. If it's set to 100, it'll go 100 times and then stop. What residual does is that it will continue to simulate until the energy unaccounted for is below a certain level. So whatever the CG residual level is, it will go until it's under 0 .0001. Um, the self-collision iteration count is only when it self-collides with itself. And that will, um, the more self-collision iterations there are, the cleaner the simulation is. So let's say if you pull it up and you get all these nasty crinkles right here. Well, they're all self-colliding, so if you were to increase the, simu the, uh, the simulation for that, it'll sort itself out a lot faster than uh, just at one. Air damping, um, I have that at 100, but it's, it's, it's set to, to one. Um, this is similar to the internal damping that you'll be able to get um, on your uh, fabrics. Uh, right here, uh, and it, it what it does is um, it, it it makes it seem wetter. Um, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's 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 generally um, it will generally cause the garment to slow down as if it was more underwater. So I guess like think of it like humidity. I guess might be good. Um, lowering the value will cause it to bounce around quickly. Um, increasing it will slow down. Um, Marvelous Designer says that adjusting the measurements while putting garments on does not make much of a difference, generally used during animation as it influences garments when they are moved. Um, I usually keep it at one because I don't really really um, need, need damping in, in what I do. Gravity, uh, obviously the, the downward force put on the, the, uh, the uh, simulation. Uh, 90, minus 9800 is the real world equivalent of what gravity is. Um, you can change it to zero, and you'll have have no gravity. So maybe using space or something, um, or you can change it uh, to whatever you want. So minus ninety eight hundred. A number of CPUs in use. Uh, I would keep it at four unless you have a lot of uh, CPUs to spare. Uh, it'll just help the. Uh, it'll speed up the simulation, but it'll, it, it'll make your machine run hot. So the ground. If uh, I turn on, I don't even know where it is. Uh, I turn my floor off, but it uh, basically makes the floor um, collision yes or no. So if you have something out here, um, and if you simulate it, it will just fall down and it'll stop on the floor instead of fall all the way down. And then height is this is set to zero zero zero, but you can bring it up and down as you see fit. Avatar. Uh, avatar cloth collision detection. So what this is is 
this is how it determines how the cloth falls onto the avatar. So it's avatar to cloth. So it's looking at the triangle of the avatar to the vertex of the cloth. Now if you think that you need more um, simulation power, you can change, you can turn on vertex to triangle. So it's going to look at both the triangle and the vertex of the avatar and the vertex and the triangle of the collision or the, the cloth for collision. Uh, Self-collision detection, triangle vertex is how it, it will look um, at itself and then edge to edge as well and then the avoidance stiffness um, if you increase that and decrease that it will change how it how stiff it is when it when it hits each other. I don't really mess around with these I think they're they're pretty pretty standard. Um, same with the proximity detection I don't really change um, much of that at all. I'll usually just change around uh, my stuff right here. So uh, normal uh, preset is all this, the uh, defaults that I, I just looked and then complete is uh, number of simulations 5 uh, and then it switches to residual and you'll notice that it increased the, uh, the number of zeros by 1 so you're getting a, a cleaner um, simulation and you'll also notice that the uh, simulate uh, button changed from yellow to pink You'll see how slow it's moving now compared to how it was with uh, the iterations, but you're getting a, a much cleaner, cleaner um, simulation. So another thing that I like to do is uh, change the, if I can find it, the particle distance. So right now the particle distance is set to, let me change this back to, uh, normal so I'm not cranking up my CPU. See now it's back to just the, the yellow orange arrow. So I like to change the particle distance from 20 which is the default to something around 15 for a little bit um, cleaner mesh and then I'll usually drop it down to, to 10, 8 and then 5. I usually don't drop it down um, any less than five because it um, it really doesn't like that. So you can see how how nice I'm getting folds now. They're a lot a lot smoother, a lot better. It folds in on itself more. So we'll go back to 20, re-simulate it. It's a lot more stiffer. It's not folding as nice. Back to 10. Um, another thing I like to do is uh, change the uh, collision thickness. By default, it's set to uh, 2.5, and I believe it uh, with the uh, the fabric, it will um, add that 0 0.5 to the whoops to the uh, 2.5. So you're at three because in the uh, the manual it says that it's set to three. Um, so what uh, the simulation thickness does is that if you want to have garments that uh, generally will stick to your model, you will want to keep it rather low. But if you need something that's more like padding, you'll increase the, the uh, simulation thickness. And that's on, it, it, it calculated, cal calculates it, excuse me, on both sides of the garment. So uh, that's something to look out for. And then... Um, that's pretty much all I all I do for for simulations and everything that I use. So you can see it. Look at all these great folds that I get compared to what I was getting before. You can notice how slow it's running because it's 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 working harder to try to figure it all out. So thanks guys. Uh, thanks for watching. That was a bit more technical than uh, what I would normally do, but I think it's important to to learn. Um, the technical side of a program as well as the creative side of the program. That way you can use it to your um, your full advantage. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what I can do better to uh, make these videos more enjoyable and I'll see you guys on the uh, the next one.